You are such a fantastic audience. Uh, maybe a little bit better than the Wiltern. Who knows? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But thank you for coming tonight and uh, all the way to Anaheim. Maybe some of you live here, but uh, I've been here before, obviously. I've got kids. And uh, you know why. <laughs> so uh, about 45 years ago, I stepped into the studio with uh, Woody and two other people. And uh, we made this glorious album, which we thought was going to change the world and we were going to be big and famous and all that. But uh, we sold about 12 copies. And my mother bought six of them. And Woody's mom bought the, throughout the rest, right? And, uh, but anyway, uh, we worked really hard on this. We, we lived together in uh, Beckenham, Kent, in a big Victorian apartment where Woody and uh, the rest of the band and David and, and I, we all lived together and we practiced in our wine cellar every day. We didn't drink wine, we just made music in it, you know. And of course, uh, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for two people, two great people who can't be here for obvious reasons. First one I'd like to acknowledge is the immortal Mick Ronson. Yeah! The best. The best. And our guitar players will tell you that he was the best, too. And of course, none of us would be here if it wasn't for my dear old friend, let's blow a kiss up to heaven, to David Bowie. Thank you so much. Uh, he, he knew about this two years ago that we we're going to do this, and, what, and he said, why do you want to do that? And, and I said, uh, because we never did. And he remembered that we actually never did. We were uh, fired by his new manager. He said, he said to David, you don't need the band. And, uh, I know. Is it, is it revenge, sweet? So, uh, so now, for the second half of the show, first of all, before I turn you over to him, let's hear it again for Glenn Gregory. Okay. Glenn. They don't make them that way anymore. He can really sing, this guy. No auto-tune, no Melodyne. No Melodyne. Why, no, that's horrible. How can we live without Melodyne? Anyway, I'm going to turn you over to Glenn Gregory. Of course, you know, comes from the group uh, Heaven 17. So, uh, Heaven 17 fans, give him a shout. And Glenn is going to conduct you through uh, five years of various uh, songs that David Bowie wrote. And some of them are going to be deep tracks, deep cuts. Some are going to be ones that you haven't heard for a very long time. Glenn Gregory! <laughs> <laughs> 